Welcome to a SolidWorks Tech Tip video where today we're going to take a look at the somewhat underused path length dimension found inside of SolidWorks. Path length dimensions are great for solving systems such as belts and pulleys like we see here on the screen. Oftentimes it's important to know the overall length of a path to determine the length for manufacturing a belt or a cable or a pulley or something like that or you might want to drive that dimension because you're purchasing an off-the-shelf component. So let's take a look at how this dimension works by selecting path length dimension. Once you do this, you'll be presented with a property manager which asks you to select which entities are part of the path. We're basically generating a path at this point. And the easiest way to do this is to right mouse click on any of the geometry and choose select chain. You'll notice that SolidWorks adds all that geometry to the property manager and when I go back and press OK, SolidWorks adds a driving dimension to our sketch. Now, in the case of this sketch, we may be purchasing an off-the-shelf component which has a predefined length. We'll say 700 millimeters in this case. We can double-click on this dimension and change that value now and it will update the location of this circle which wasn't fully defined prior to creating the sketch. So that's one way we could do it. The other way is, is what if we need to know the length of a belt based on the position of these three pulleys? So we can right click on this path length dimension and make this driven just like any other dimension in a SolidWorks sketch. Then when we go back and we add a dimension to fully define the location of this circle, for example, maybe we want this to be closer to where it was, let's call this 120 millimeters, you'll notice that the path length value updates. This is great as we can link this in notes in a drawing or elsewhere in our design and use that for the final manufacturing information which is going to be important. So hopefully this little quick tip was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.